Hello YouTubers and fellow vintage radio enthusiasts. Uh, the radio for this video is the Johnson Messenger 1, uh, sometimes called the Johnson Viking Messenger 1, and more commonly probably known as the Johnson Whiteface. This is a uh, five channel crystal controlled uh, tube type CB radio. I, I actually call this radio the shoebox because it's, well, as you can see, it's shaped just like a shoebox. Uh, this is a real bare bones radio. I think they started making these in the very early 1960s. I don't, I don't remember the exact date for startup on making these. 60 or 61 comes to mind, but I, I don't know if that's correct. And I think they made them, I, I believed up till the late 60s, maybe a little longer than that. I'm not sure. It had a pretty, pretty long life. Uh, this is an earlier version. It has the little uh, a static banana mic. I'm not sure how many. Or I assume these are made by a static. They're not marked a static, but I know a static made a lot of these little little banana mics back in the day. And from what I understand, only the earlier produced uh, Johnson Messengers had that had that particular mic. Later ones had a plastic, you know, hand mic on them. So this is an earlier radio. This radio uh, comes to me compliments of uh, I got it from. Uh, Mr. 231, Larry, he's a site administrator on CBRT, which is cbradiotalk.com. It's one of the forums I'm a member of. It's one of my favorites because it's, uh, you know, a lot, lot of knowledgeable people, you know, participate there. Plus, it's, it's kept nice and family friendly. So, he, uh, he got this in a courier from a gentleman. I think he told me that the, the guy was thinking about throwing them out, but you know, he, he wanted to save them and I'm glad he did and he posted them on the trader and uh, well, I ended up with them and I've got the Johnson going now. Well, as mentioned, it's five channel crystal controlled. I'm on channel one right now. A little bit of DX rolling, but not a lot. Um, or at least not a lot on this channel. I'm kind of limited what I can display. I didn't have to really do a lot. I've, I've still got a little bit of oxidation issues on the uh, channel selector because I don't have receive on the, let's see, I think it's on C and D. I have transmit on all of them and it's on frequency. And I, at one time, earlier in uh, the process of bringing her back to life, I, I did have some receive on C and D and now I notice it's gone. So I, I need to get some deoxid. I don't have any right now. I got a feeling that's the problem, probably more so in the crystal. But even if it's crystals, I've, I've got extras that I just left it as is for the time being because I got three channels. There's three channels in it that's working, you know, transmit and receive both like it should. Very bare, bare bones. You know, I already showed you the channel selector. It's just A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, volume. Squelch, which has your on and off power control. There's your power slash ready lamp. TX light. Uh, the logo. And this is the uh, a previous owner's license number. And he has that same person. Original license. On the side of the radio still. I can't really... Looks like the date on it is 8-6 eight, six, eight, six of 1969 at the bottom of that license. Let's see if I can get a shot. I have the I have the uh, cover for the crystals, but I left it off as I, I like I said I might have to take it apart and when I get some deoxid and hit it again. I replaced the electrolytic capacitors in it. I had to clean the relay. You know, the, the, the varnish slash tarnish slash oxidation on it was causing me all kinds of problems. And really that's, uh, you know, mostly what it took to get this rig going. That's A. And that's one of, this one of the two here that I'm not getting any receive on. Uh, someone, I assume Spanish or Portuguese. Sounds Spanish, but... That is channel 23, that's 27.255 on position E. Um, I do, uh, I set my little PAL star meter down here to show you that the radio does transmit. I, can, I got such large 
coaxial cable running on it and it's wanting to tilt back. Wow, that's loud. Okay, I'm on 300 watt scale. 300 watt scale is over to the left. Actually, both of them are, you know, 300 and 3000 read on this. So the 10 is just 10 watts that you're seeing over there on the left on the Ford. Put the radio, let's see, I'm in TX mode. I've got a carrier uh, about almost 4 watts. Audio. 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 Test 1, 2, audio. About 10 watts peak output. And that's probably about all you can expect on this radio. It's really pretty good. I, I haven't even uh, aligned or tuned the transmitter, what it was set at all these years ago is what I left it at. This radio has all the original Johnson tubes in it. I, I don't believe it was ever really used an awful lot, to be honest. I mean, most most of these uh, tube types encountered, you know, do no longer have many, if any, of the original branded tubes left in them. But... Every tube in this one is original Johnson brand. It's pretty pretty amazing. I, I, I'm gonna add a short video clip at the end that uh, that shows you know it apart and running. I had to you know I, I replaced the electrolytics and uh, you know the bottom side of the radio, like many of these, you know looks brand new. Top side looks pretty decent. I need to clean it yet. I have not done a detail clean. It's, it's you know the outside. I gave a quickie clean the inside. I, I, I've blown off the worst of it, but I'll detail it someday when I feel, you know, feel up to it. Anyways, I think that's about it for this radio. And like I said, uh, just at the end of this, I'll uh, that real short clip I'm going to add on to this. So, or actually, no, I think I'm going to do it a separate video. I, I, all I've got is that Windows. Movie Maker, and it wants to convert everything to WMB, and then it always seems like the file is way too big for YouTube once that's done. So, actually, it'll be a short video number two. I hate doing it that way, but that's all I've got for video editing software right now. So, make do with what I got. Anyhow, I think that does it for video number one of the Johnson Messenger. Messenger 1. I see the full model number is uh, I've got it here somewhere. Give me a second folks. It's 242 242-120A. There were uh, I know at least two versions of them. This one's the 12 volt version and I guess that's what the the 1 2 you know at the end stands for because there was a 6 volt version as well because you could run these DC or AC. This radio does not work on a DC. Apparently the vibrator is bad and I, you know I show in that second video I'm running off of a, a bunch of alligator lead clips. I, I don't have the 9 pin octal you know socket that's needed to, to make a real power cord up for it. And the DC cord I have for these is missing the pins you know that I need to make it AC so you know I'm another one of those making do with what I've got type deals. So anyways I'll quit rambling on. This does it for the Johnson Viking Messenger 1, also known as the Whiteface. 73's everybody, 262 Operator Paul signing off for now.